yeah, yo, y'all know how they say this thing. Sample size. Sample size means everything, right? Hey, relax. Don't jump off a bridge. Don't, don't, don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and streams you, you that you're used to, right? Don't, don't chase the pot of thing and, and whatever it is, right? RJ Barrett has played three games and RJ Barrett looks like an all-star. Relax. I know what you're going to say. Uncle Freezy, it's only been three games. Listen, I didn't turn this mic on if I wasn't prepared. Right? Let me, let, I'm going to start first by with the obvious. The reason why I'm here speaking about the four seasons of RJ is because when RJ first started, I told people that he might be a Jimmy Butler type player. Well, Jimmy Butler didn't turn into that player until 25, age 25. He started his climb at age 23. RJ Barrett is 23. Now, here's the thing. RJ Barrett's not going to be Jimmy Butler. I think in my heart of hearts, I think RJ Barrett is going to be a better shooter and scorer than Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is, is going to be a better playmaker, scorer, defender, all of that stuff. Jimmy Butler may have the clutch gene, right? I think deep in RJ's heart somewhere, I think he has the clutch gene also, but I'm not, that's not the reason why we're here today. We're here today to talk about the four seasons of RJ. Tell me if you've heard this before. R.J. Barrett starts every season slow. All those workouts with Drew Hanlon, and he do post all those workout videos, and he always come into the season starting off slowly. Year one, year two, year three, year four. Year five looks a little bit different. There's a reason for Knicks fans, NBA fans, and fans of R.J. Barrett to be more hopeful. R.J. Barrett starts year five right where he wants to be, almost. It's a small sample size. We don't know if he's going to get any better than this. But right now, where we are with R.J. Barrett, this R.J. Barrett, we'll take this. And if there's anything better coming down the pike, we, hey, that's icing on the cake. We'll take this version of R.J. Barrett. Right? After, three, after a three-game sample size. But the sample size is not what we want to look at here. What we want to look at is... R.J. Barrett is off to a quick start. Traditionally, R.J. Barrett is off to a long, prolonged, super frustrating start. R.J. Barrett generally doesn't get it going until right before Thanksgiving. We are still in October. And R.J. Barrett is showing us signs that he has arrived. It's too early to start talking about all-stars and all that stuff. But if this is the version of R.J. Barrett that we're getting, not promising he'll be an all-star, but just being in the all-star conversation, the all-star conversation means we're getting the best version of R.J. And if you thought I was merely talking about offense, I'm speaking about defense also. RJ, RJ Barrett's defense, not bad, young fella. You're impressing us, young fella. RJ Barrett is impressing us with his defense also. And not quick twitch muscles, by the way. We're talking about footwork. You know what I'm saying? Drop steps, turning your body, knowing how to play angles with footwork, as opposed to turn, turning your shoulders and run, dropping your feet and running alongside and using your strength to your advantage. Whew. 
we waited this long for this RJ. It's only three games, right? Small sample size, but taking things take things into account. Efficiency, improved defense, improved three point shooting, and off to a quick start. I know it's only three games. But if you consider RJ is performing like this despite other players on the team playing up to their best potential, now you'll see why I did the four seasons of RJ. All those previous four seasons have built and shape RJ for this moment where when Randall Brunson and others don't contribute, RJ can still contribute at a decent, almost high level on both sides of the floor. Well, four seasons of RJ.